Hey y'all, <laughs> welcome back to the vlog. Why does my voice sound like this? Anyways, y'all, it's early morning. I'm about to walk Stone Mountain. I, um, my, my room was at, at Stone Mountain, so. <laughs> yeah, which is nice because it's like, a lot of stuff to do at Stone Mountain Park that I didn't even really do but it's whatever I'm getting ready to go on a walk now <laughs> this is my first time staying at St yeah staying at the hotel here at Stone Mountain Park I normally um, have a place in the city this this place is so far from the city y'all but yeah Got my soy chai latte. And all that good stuff. Y'all. I'm trying to like get my mind in the in the headspace. Y'all ever be like focused? Like, when you come up with a goal and then you get into a space where you just, like, focused on that goal, you know? That's how I ended up finishing college. Like, I just, I was in a headspace where I was focused, you know? Like, nothing else mattered. I quit smoking weed. I quit hanging out with my friends because, like, I was, like, partying. I quit hanging out with them. I quit drinking because I was drinking a lot <laughs> and I, I quit doing all of that like and I, um, I don't know why I just said hi to the police like he could hear me he waved at me so I said hi <laughs> but um, yeah I quit doing all of that and I was just like focused like nothing else mattered like in my mind it was like a tunnel vision and that's normally how I get things done. Like, I get into a zone. And, um, I just get things done. I knock it out. And lately, I had, it's been hard for me to get into that space. So, <laughs> I was just hoping, like, you know, come down here, get recharged, live a little bit. And then get into that headspace where I'm getting things that's, um, I don't know. Do y'all do vision boards? Because I, I still do vision boards. And that's, for me, like, a vision board is like a goal board, to be honest. It's a picture book for goals. <laughs> right? That's what a vision board is. The only way that a vision board works for me is if. I actually, y'all want to know how old I am? There you go. The don't ask me no more. So, <laughs> how it, how the vision board works for me is seeing the end goal. Like, I, the pictures I'll use for the end goal or for the feeling of being in the end goal, okay? Because that's how manifestation, manifestation works. So, manifestation works through being able to feel something real I mean at least for me that's how it's worked for me if I feel that is real or if I say it with some type of emotion behind it um, it tends to actually happen for me so um, that that is how it works for me so I try to um, keep myself in a positive space and not really be negative because you can manifest something where you're in a negative space and you're you say things out of anger so because there's emotion behind that so i tend to like when people make me upset i still sometimes lash out but um i'll i'll <laughs> i've gotten to the point where i'll revert i'll take it right back i'll say you know what i'm tripping i don't mean that and i'll just pray for that person i just pray for their deliverance um <clears throat> with that emotion that i have i'll just pray for their deliverance because that emotion is a charge and it's energy that can make things come true so you know life is tough enough on us already so i don't want to wish anything more on someone else 
for someone else or for myself at that so yeah but that's how the vision boards work for me and then i also have to like once i put the vision board up like put all the photos of how i want to feel at the end i have to um then oh look at that tesla it's a nice tesla um yeah then at after i do the vision board i um write down the goals and then i write down like how i can achieve those goals and i haven't done that this is so dangerous they don't have no walkway but anyway i haven't done that in a minute i just been kind of winging it just doing whatever sporadically and it's it's not working for me i haven't really gotten too much accomplished so at this point i'm gonna like go back to what works for me and what has worked for me in the past and get it done because and then it was like in the past i was playing small you know so i wasn't even playing big i wasn't even thinking big enough like just being around my friends like even <laughs> y'all y'all know how i told y'all my friend had um sent me the money for the ticket so i did tell him i was like yeah i spent it on the ticket on a cheaper ticket and i kept the other money and i just wanted you to know and so my friend is like he asked me he was like um did you need some money or something and i was like what <laughs> i was like yo is that what it sounds like he was like yeah it sounds like you're thinking from a scarcity mindset or a poverty mindset and i was like oh really like i didn't even really think of it like that like i just was like hmm I'm just gonna buy this ticket and then buy some other stuff you know I just thought of it just as budget I didn't think of it that way but he made me realize cuz he's like one of them type of people that <laughs> feels like you are who you hang around and um, he's like one of those um, he listens to like Neville Goddard and he's really into wealth and things like that and um, the whole mindset and it works for him he's a wealthy guy so um yeah he was just like yo he treated me like i had the cooties he was like are you what are you talking about but um yeah i was just like oh wow, i didn't think of it like that but just being around my friends that um are in good places being around that energy gets it rubs off on you is what i'm saying so yeah um I had a good time I had a good time I was able to be around some good people and get recharged and refocused and all that good stuff and um, reevaluate what I want in life because getting pregnant with baby royalty although I wanted her it just came by surprise so <laughs> And she's here now, so it's just like I gotta do what I gotta do and keep it moving, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm about to just walk the rest of this trail. If my hair, I can feel my hair frizzing up right now because it's like so humid out here. Yeah, I definitely got the Lisa Bonet thing going on. <laughs> I just switched out my nose ring, these sunglasses. I ain't even get any pictures of my outfit last night. Like you know, you know you was just really living, living in the moment, y'all. Um, this is a book I read called The Presence Process. If anyone like struggles with anxiety, The Presence Process is a very good book. And um, I did find myself like very present last night and just having a very good time talking to my friends and um, just reconnecting. I, I had a really good time. But yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and um, run this mountain or whatever. I'm not about to run anything. I'm going to walk it. <laughs> and I'll come back to y'all. Y'all, I don't know where I'm at, but I'm telling y'all, two seconds from hitchhiking. The next, the next car that comes by here, oh God, this is about to be me. <laughs> hey, take me down the street. 
I didn't wander too far from my room. <laughs> yeah, I've never hitchhiked, but this is probably the wrong place to be hitchhiking in a park. That sounds like a recipe for murder. But, um, oh my God. <laughs> what the heck do I be? I would try it, y'all. Let's see. The next car that comes, I'm putting my thumb out. Because I'm bored right now. <laughs> Of course, I don't hear no cars. It's been like 10 Teslas, three Mars Benzes, okay? <laughs> Five Audis then flew by me. Six trailers. Now, no cars coming. Where the cars at? Because now I'm dead set on seeing if I can get picked up as a hitchhiker, okay? I don't, I've never hitchhiked before. I was going to do it one time when I was out of the country, but I was like scared. I'm, I'm kind of scared this time, but let's see how it work out, y'all. <laughs> Where's the cars at? No. I almost put my thumb out. I ain't getting in that. No. We need it. <laughs> Where's the other cars at? Oh, y'all, look at the mountain. See if I can. Enlarge it. Yes. Yes, that mountain is beautiful. This walk is refreshing though. I'm almost back. I'm almost back to um <laughs> to the hotel and I still haven't gotten picked up. I guess it's just not meant to happen. No cars is they all going the opposite way. So whatever. Dang, I'm sorry. Here comes a car, y'all. This looks like a family car, though. Yeah. They went all the way around me. They a family car. <laughs> they were a full car. I ain't getting in that car. <laughs> we gotta get the next one. Man, listen. This ain't gonna work. I'm almost to the room, y'all. I, I ended up walking. This is crazy. <laughs> I gotta go to the room and get ready. I gotta ended up getting a late checkout. So, um, I could be in the room till four, but uh, my flight leaves at four thirty. So. And um, it's getting late. Like the time is like trying to escape me. So I need to go to the room and get dressed and um, pack my stuff up so I can go back to Cleveland. <sighs> Actually, while I'm talking, I need to check in. Let me check in, get my boarding pass off this little app. Yeah, I see y'all. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Wave. I'm in it for keepsake. In the field with the cleat lace. Beat foot with the bare face and a slick tie. That's what she say. She look good. She a big tease when she bite lip with the weak face. Hella bad when she throwing it back. She bring that my way for the team play. For Pete's sake, I'm above average, I'm padding my stat. I got a matter what he say. I'm the 2010, got LeBron James off the backboard, type of bad boy. Hold it down for the task force. If I run his faith, then you ask for it. Niggas cross, need to laugh more. I can't hey, hide it on that. <laughs> I'm at the airport, heading home. I'm going home. <laughs> but ain't nothing to eat here. Yeah, like, all the restaurants are closed. 
I had no idea it was like this. I hate when I get that white stuff in the corner of my lips. But, um, yeah, I'm looking for something to eat because I'm hungry. Finally getting around to washing my cover, my comforter and stuff, y'all. I needed to wash it before I left, but I didn't, I had so many errands to run and after doing baby royalty's hair, I never got to wash my comforter. So now that I'm back <laughs> and it's dark outside, y'all, I got on that flight and um, it was hot when I got on the flight, okay? When I got to the airport, it was hot. So when I got when we were getting ready to land the um you know how they give you the, the weather for wherever you're landing? Girl, they was like, and it's 51 degrees in Cleveland. I almost cried. I was like, oh my god, no. I didn't have on no jacket or anything. I had put my jackets in my luggage. I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. I was not, I wasn't thinking right. <laughs> But when I got off the plane and got my luggage, I had to get a coat out of there. I, it was crazy. But yeah, I'm back. I'm about to, I was, I didn't take my clothes off, took my hair down, makeup off. I was about to get comfortable and lay down. And then I remember like, yeah, I need to wash my sheets. So that's what I'm up here doing now. Getting my sheets washed because I was already out of town, y'all. Y'all in Atlanta, y'all, wow. Like, I was trying to wear my mask, but y'all did not, like, people in Atlanta did not care. People rarely had on masks. I mean, all the clubs I went to, no one had on masks. Well, one of them, the people that worked there, they did have on masks, but everybody that was in there, no one had on masks. Nowhere that I went, people had on masks. I was like, dang, y'all wild down here. Y'all don't care. I miss it. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I had a good time. Um, yeah, it was very therapeutic for me. So now, like I said, I'm about to get these um, comforters washed. Y'all, they got like these big washers. You just put like $10 in them and they are freaking huge. And you can put like three comforters in there. But I got to get the comforters washed so I can lay down comfortably. Um, and some clean sheets, you know. But um, yeah, let me just let y'all see these washers, y'all. They're huge. Look how big this is. This is huge. Like, it is huge. And then I love this laundromat because it's so convenient for me because, like, I can use my phone right there. And Again, it's this app that I just download and I just put a little cash on the app and I could do my laundry so basically I don't have to get quarters is what it is and um, yeah it's you just download the app and scan your phone you don't need quarters anymore so it's like you don't got to worry about having money to go do your laundry it's as convenient as it's gonna get until I get back to I don't know if I'm gonna have my um, my stuff that's in my storage sent to me or if I haven't had it sent to me only because I feel like that is like a real permanent decision like it's not permanent but like I don't want to be shipping my stuff back and forth it's not that much stuff I gave away my furniture um, I was just like let me get this away because when I move back I want to buy new furniture but at this point like <laughs> a lot of that stuff in my storage was like for my business because I did do catering um, food vending so I would go to I would rent out vendor spaces at different events and I would make vegan food and I would sell it um, so I still make vegan food even though I'm not vegan um, I'm still good with uh, making vegan food so that's what a lot of that stuff in my storage was but I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it. I'm not even about to like stress it, stress me out. I don't know God's plans, 
um whatever happens will happen but yeah i'm just gonna end the vlog here y'all because now i'm doing a lot of talking as usual per usual okay but yeah y'all i just wanted to end the vlog thanks for um coming to atlanta with me for a little little impromptu vacation and yeah y'all <laughs> it's been real make sure y'all like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see y'all on the next vlog bye y'all <laughs>